Guys, I think I found my new favorite build. You've got to try this. What's up everyone, Tavius Plays here, thank you so much for stopping by. For today's video, I took a suggestion from one of you guys in the comment section. A great suggestion for a Solar Titan build, so keep dropping your suggestions and feedback down in the comments guys, I really appreciate it. Now remember, if you get any value out of this video, please do me a favor and heavy attack that subscribe button so I can bring you guys more great content. And without further delay, let's jump into the video. For this Titan build, we're going to be using the Sunbreaker Titan subclass and the code of the Devastator. Let's go over its perks. The Burning Maul Super summons a Flaming Maul to crush enemies with the force of an earthquake. Okay, Bungie, a bit dramatic there, but we'll take it. This super has a heavy attack that creates a wall of fire in front of you, and a light attack that will have you spinning your hammer around dealing constant damage to bosses or anyone around you. Super fun, I love this super. Next we have our throwing hammer melee ability. Throw a hammer from a distance. After throwing it, picking up the hammer fully recharges your melee ability. Super useful to be able to replenish your melee ability instantly by picking up the hammer. Plus, a lot of times the hammer bounces back to you if you're close enough to the enemy. Moving on, we have Tireless Warrior. After hitting an enemy with your throwing hammer, picking up the hammer triggers health regeneration. So you throw the hammer, and even if you don't get a kill, picking up the hammer replenishes your melee, plus triggers health regeneration. Don't wait too long to pick up the hammer as you only have about 8 seconds to pick it up before it blows up and you'll have to wait for your melee cooldown depending on your strength stat. And lastly, we have Roaring Flames. Kills with your solar abilities increase those abilities damage. Stacks up to 3 times. This buff lasts for 20 seconds and it keeps extending every kill you get, with grenade or throwing hammer. With this build, you'll be able to keep Roaring Flames up for a very long time if you like. And now for the grenade, we have to use the fusion grenade, since our exotic armor piece works only with this grenade, but just give me a minute here and you'll see. Moving on from there, we're going over our armor and armor mods. The exotic armor piece we're using is the Ashen Wake. This exotic was released in year 2 of Destiny 2 during the Warmind DLC, and it's now in the random exotic drop loot pool. Also, you might find it with Zer if you go check his weekly inventory and purchase his faded engram. The exotic armor perk is Bring the Heat. Fusion grenades now explode on impact and gain increased throw speed. Final blows with fusion grenades grind grenade energy. Now be careful when throwing grenades, these grenades also damage you and since they explode on impact they could kill you if your health is already low. Not gonna lie, I died a few times when a thrall got too close to me and I threw a grenade at his face. Let's move on to the armor mods. On my helmet I have Discipline, Ashes to Assets to gain super energy and grenade kills, Sword Armor Finder and Elemental Ordinance. Defeating an enemy with a grenade spawns elemental wells that matches your subclass, in this case solar. Also, picking up wells grant energy to your abilities. On my exotic arms, I got a minor intellect and a stack of two impulse recyclers from the seasonal artifact. Grenade final blows grant grenade energy. Multiple copies of this mod increase the amount of energy gained. So the Ashen Wake exotic arms grants grenade energy with grenade kills. With this two impulse recycler stack, we will get our grenade back immediately, plus getting super energy with ashes to assets. And we also have Wrath of Rasputin. Solar splash damage final blows have a chance to create warmind cells. Our grenade, our super, and our exotic weapon all generate splash damage, so that's good. On my chest piece, I have discipline. Hand Cannon Reserves, Sword Reserves, and Elemental Charge to become Charged with Light by picking up Elemental Wells. Solar Wells will grant you 2 stacks of Charge with Light. For my legs, I have Intellect, Sword Scavenger, Grenade Launcher Scavenger, and Global Reach. Warmind Cells affect and damage targets at a greater distance. And last, for the class item, we got Discipline, Energy Accelerant to boost our Explosions, and our Sword and high energy fire, while charged with light gain a bonus to weapon damage. Each defeated combatant consumes one stack of charge with light. Now moving on to my stats, I wanted to keep a balance between super energy and grenade, so I have my discipline at tier 7 with a grenade cooldown of 45 seconds, and my intellect at tier 6 with a super cooldown of 4 minutes 18 seconds. 
Obviously, this cooldowns are if you do nothing, but we will be doing stuff to lower these cooldown times. Okay, now let's talk about weapons. The exotic weapon I'm using is the Sunshot Exotic Hand Cannon, a weapon from Vanilla Destiny 2, which hopefully you all already have, but if you don't, don't forget to stop by our favorite tentacle phase, Zer, and check his inventory. The intrinsic trait is Sunburn. This weapon fires explosive rounds and highlights targets that take damage from Sunshot. And the main weapon perk is Sunblast. Targets killed with Sunshot explode in solar energy. This is our splash damage that has a chance of generating war mine cells. And these explosions benefit from our energy accelerant mod. Plus, I have the catalyst for this weapon, which increases the range and stability and generates orbs of power. Okay. For my kinetic weapon, I decided to go with a new ignition code grenade launcher from Season of the Splicer, with Ambitious Assassin and Demolitionist, to regain a bit of grenade energy when needed, plus a major spec weapon mod for those powerful enemies. And for my heavy weapon, the Crown Splitter, period. That's it. Video's done. Just kidding, but we're almost there. I just got this Crown Splitter roll with Thresh and Vorpal weapon. So we still get the extra damage against bosses, but also we get super energy on kills, an impact masterwork, and a boss spec weapon mod. This thing just melts everything. It's disgusting. Okay, let's finish this up. We're almost there. The way I like to utilize this build is to go into the activity with Sunshot, and if I see a group of two or three low-level adds, I throw my grenade, kill all three, and get my grenade back. If you miss or only kill one, you'll get about half your grenade energy. Here, I would switch to my grenade launcher and get a couple kills to refill my grenade and try again. Remember that Roaring Flames procs after a kill with a grenade, and you can get 3 stacks, so if you can keep spamming those grenades on groups of enemies, the grenade damage will go up, and you will be getting super energy with ashes to assets with every grenade kill. Now, if you don't see a group of enemies, you could kill a single one with your throwing hammer to keep Roaring Flames active. By this point, you probably already picked up Solar Wells and have become charged with Light, which gives a boost to weapon damage. Here, you can swap to your sword and erase a boss or two while getting super energy with Thresh. Oh boy. Honestly guys, there's many ways to approach this build. Maybe swap a weapon or a mod. If you can come up with one, drop it down in the comments and let me know. I'd like to hear about it. And there you have it guys, thank you so much for putting up with me till the end of the video, I really really appreciate all of you. If you want to get in touch with me, you can follow me on Instagram at Tavius Place. And if you got any value at all out of this video and you'd like to support me, please don't forget to heavy attack that subscribe button and like this video. Once again, a big thank you to my friend in the comments who suggested this build. I hope you all have a great week and as always, if you like to watch other cool videos, you can click right here.